Hi, good afternoon, everyone. We are almost ready to start. We're just going to give it a minute or two to see what additional participants are going to join, and then we'll get this presentation underway. Good, I think we're ready to go. Let me introduce myself and then we can get the webinar underway. My name is David Swanepoel. I am a co-founder of the YearX Group and I also serve as a scientific advisor to YearX. Um, my academic job is as a professor of audiology at the Department of Speech, Language, Pathology and Audiology at the University of Pretoria. And I also have an adjunct position um, at the Ear Science Institute in Australia. So I'm going to be sharing with you during this webinar today on occupational hearing loss surveillance in the digital age. And uh, before we get going, I'd just like to remind all participants that there is a Q&A function on this uh, platform. So during the course of the presentation, if you have any questions, please feel free to type them into that Q&A box. We also have um, persons from YearX who will be monitoring that and who can provide answers during the course of today's presentation. So by way of the outline um, to share with you how I'd like to do this presentation today, we're going to look at hearing healthcare and occupational risk very generally to get going. And then we'll just review the importance of annual hearing assessments and surveillance, both for employers and employees. And then I'll do a brief introduction to YearX, uh, a digital hearing health tech company, and particularly focusing on the year test occupational health solution, which is our digital occupational health solution to provide surveillance testing um, in, in an innovative uh, way in, in, as part of this digital revolution. And then finally, we'll show two brief testimonials from persons um, who are using this technology for occupational health purposes to get a consumer perspective as well. Good, so globally, uh, the recent world report on hearing indicated that there are over 1.5 billion people experiencing some degree of hearing loss. Uh, so that's about one in every five people. And if we don't address that, if there's no significant changes um, to hearing healthcare delivery and preventative services, in the next 30 years, that's going to increase to around two and a half billion, which will constitute one in every four persons having some degree of hearing loss. So that's a tremendous number. Um, and it certainly has made the case for hearing loss being prioritized by nations globally. And that's also why the World Report on Hearing is calling for nations to act now so that interventions can be put in place, preventative measures, to ensure that uh, these numbers don't keep growing um, as estimated. 
So there's also a significant price tag connected to hearing loss around the world. So the same estimates used for the World Report indicate that unaddressed global hearing loss has an annual cost of $980 billion per year. So that's the cost of hearing loss on a number of societal fronts. So um, the ear and hearing healthcare services that are not reaching people le leads to losses in productivity, um, isolation, and, and all kinds of other associated risks due to untreated and unaddressed hearing loss. So hearing in occupational environment is one of the main risks and causes of hearing loss. In fact, the number one uh, cause of hearing loss is aging. And the second most important cause of hearing loss is due to noise induced um, factors. So exposure to loud noise accounts for approximately 20% of adult onset hearing loss. While we know that about 16% of disabling hearing loss in adults is due to an occupational source of noise. In the United States, hearing loss is considered the third most common chronic physical condition in adults after things like hypertension and arthritis. And it's estimated that 12% of the US working population has some form of hearing difficulty. And 24% of the hearing difficulty among the US workers we know is caused by occupational exposures. So that translates to about 22 million workers who are exposed to hazardous noise each year in the US. Uh, in Europe, approximately one third of the workforce is exposed to hazardous noise levels of at least a quarter of their time, their working time. And we also know that, know that noise induced hearing loss is one of the most common reported occupational diseases in Europe at the moment. So this risk of having, an, uh, having hearing loss um, in your occupational environment also has um, uh, repercussions outside of just not being able to hear. But we know from research that if you have a hearing loss, you have a double risk um, or, a, or, or a twofold increased risk to um, have other workplace accidents, which certainly is related to the fact that you have reduced hearing. Um, maybe again to mention the influential world report on hearing that was launched on the 3rd of March. Um, this report also highlights the importance of healthy hearing across the life course and also emphasizes and underlines the fact that preventative measures and early detection measures needs to be in place across the life course. And as you can see illustrated here, they um, prioritize newborns, children, adults, and older adults. And if we think of the adult group here, the main category there uh, where preventative action is necessary and hearing screening is required is uh, for high risk occupations. And that's really uh, what we're going to be considering in this talk. So if we think of the importance of annual hearing checks and why you know, they're so important for employers, uh, there's a number of different reasons, of course. Uh, I think sometimes we think um, le legislation is the first reason, but there's, there's a lot of other reasons that why it's also important. Productivity in the workforce um, is, is one of the, the, the upsides if people don't have hearing loss. Um, we want to avoid and reduce workplace injuries. That's why these annual checks are, are, are so important. Um, we also want to ensure that we don't uh, suffer from communication barriers unnecessarily in workplace environments. I think we've all experienced during COVID how even just something like a face mask that reduces um, you know, the ability to understand person's speech affects our communication and the hearing loss so much more. Um, and then finally, of course, regulatory and legislative adherence is, is, is one of the big motivators for these annual checks. Almost all regions around the world require some form of baseline testing in an occupational setting. And then regional requirements will predict the consequent testing intervals uh, for, for the surveillance testing that follows the baselines. 
In the US, OSHA requires annual hearing checks to identify deterioration in hearing ability as early as possible. And the HSE requires, in the UK, requires annual hearing checks for the first two years of employment and then at every three year, at three yearly intervals thereafter if, if there's no other significant risk indicator. So for employees, um, why is it important to have their annual hearing check conducted? Well, noise-induced hearing loss, the good thing about it is that it is preventable. Um, we just need to be able to identify it early enough and identify the risk. So to get this hearing check done allows us to have a baseline from where we can monitor our employees. And it also allows hearing conservation programs to be tailored and individualized to the needs of these individuals to ensure um, hearing preservation. We also know of the negative influences of hearing loss on individuals and on adults. Things like social isolation, um, communication difficulties, the frustrations that go along with this. And more recently, we also know that hearing loss is associated with increased risks of cognitive decline. In fact, it's associated with a threefold increased risk of developing dementia as well. And, and hearing intervention and treatment in midlife has recently been identified as the number one modifiable risk factor for developing dementia. And then of course, it's also important for employees to protect them um, in the case where there is a permanent hearing loss um, to ensure that appropriate compensation can be secured. So who is Eurex and, and what's the role that Eurex plays in this world of occupational hearing health surveillance? Well, Eurex Group is a digital hearing health tech company that develops hearing solutions using digital technologies. The vision of Eurex is a, a very big vision. Our vision is healthy hearing for everyone everywhere. And we believe that that needs to be done through the development of smart digital solutions that can be used by anyone anywhere. Eurex is also an ISO 13485 medical device certified company to develop medical devices using mobile technologies so that we can deliver services um, in a decentralized manner to individuals. So maybe just a quick background on some of the Eurex solutions. Eurex offers um, a number of screening tests for hearing that are mobile based, so applications that are integrated into our ML Studio um, data management package that runs on a mobile device, but also in the cloud, on a cloud-based data management uh, service. So the screening tests typically include peer tone audiometry screening. This may include screening tests um, for school-based screenings, for example. These are simple screening tests, unlike occupational uh, hearing screening. So it's usually a pass-fail criteria based on a fixed peer tone audiometry level. Um, we use calibrated headphones connected to these devices. Um, but we also include partner products um, to do vision screening so that we can do visual acuity screening with uh, the hearing screening. And then we also have speech in noise hearing tests that use digits and noise technology. And then on the clinical test side, this is solutions that allow us to do clinical hearing tests. Um, and, and this is also the category where occupational hearing tests um, fall into. So your test is our peer tone audiometry threshold testing solution that includes testing across conventional frequencies and also extended high frequencies with circumoral headphones. We also have the Yearscope solution, which is a digital uh, AI otoscope that plugs into uh, the tablet or the smartphone and allows you to take images of the eardrum and it has an AI image classification system. There's also a hybrid of these clinical tests that we uh, offer as a self-test solution. And some of them have really been used very widely in COVID-19 when uh, traditional practices um, were largely closed. So there's a self-test kit solution and there's an online hearing test solution that uses digits and noise technology. Um, and then lastly, there's the occupational health solution and um, that is a customized digital package that allows for comprehensive care and uh, management of the entire 
hearing health care, monitoring and surveillance um, in occupational health in regards to hearing. As I mentioned briefly, all of these solutions are also connected to our secure cloud-based data and patient management systems. The, the clinical system is called ML Studio. It is a system that runs on the mobile phone, but also in the cloud, and it can sync uh, seamlessly between these two platforms. So whatever information is uploaded in the, on the device and whatever is uploaded in the cloud can seamlessly sync, but it also allows for asynchronous testing. So you don't have to be online to do these tests. It can conduct tests um, uh, offline as well. And then we have a leads portal for the self-test solutions where um, individuals may provide tests to patients at home and those leads come into a secure portal. So Eurex um, has been running for the last almost five years and to date we've provided hearing tests in more than 191 countries. We've done more than a million tests to date and uh, so the company keeps expanding its global footprint as these mobile technologies are rolling out. So if we turn then to the year test Ocalt solution to share a little bit more around how digital technologies allow us to offer a comprehensive um, all-in-one automated solution for hearing surveillance in occupational health settings. Um, it also, of course, can be used for other surveillance purposes, um, such as autotoxicity monitoring, um, and it can be used by audiologists and ear, nose and throat specialists for specialized purposes as well. So the Ear Test Oc Health solution is a clinically validated advanced occupational health solution that has attenuation abilities that are equivalent to a single wall soundproof booth, which means you can use this outside of a conventional test environment. And it also allows reliable, cost-effective, and convenient occupation hearing screenings and data management through the online data management package I mentioned earlier. So if we just briefly look at the hardware that constitutes the solution, it's a mobile solution. So it has a single tablet that goes along with the solution that is preloaded with the software. And then we have headphones that are connected to this tablet. Uh, we use for the Ocal solution, uh, Radio Ear IP30 insert earphones. And we cover them with a Paltor 3M ear muff um, to give us additional attenuation. And then we also have disposables, which are single use foam ear tips. And then of course, uh, the replacement tubes for the earphones as necessary and Velcro straps for fastening them. And then in addition, we also provide an optional di digital to analog converter to ensure that we can reach um, the required levels of testing across the frequency range uh, for the various occupational health standards. So the hardware calibrations, the, the earphones need to be calibrated um, annually at least, depending on what kind of occupational um, health service is being provided. It can be calibrated more regularly. Um, and then there's daily subjective tests to ensure that the hardware confirm, conforms to standards. And this is part of the automated process um, that allows for tracking and traceability of these steps. Um, the test environment, test, your test is a compact mobile. It fits into a small little case. So it does allow us to it test almost in any environment and also to easily transport this to different um, uh, test environments. The maximum permissible ambient noise level um, is continually also monitored from this, the calibrated uh, microphone of these tablets so that you can check whether the environment actually adheres to the required noise levels. Although this is not a type 2 SLM um, required by some of the legislations, it does provide a good check to know whether the noise levels are too high. And then during the testing as well, it serves as a quality control metric to check that we're actually um, uh, not in an environment that's too noisy to determine reliable thresholds. So the sound attenuation um, of this insert earphone covered by the 3M Peltor earmuffs um, has been validated. Uh, this, these are the findings of a study that was conducted. 
So the ear test Oc Health transducer setup, which has the insert earphones covered by the ear muffs, exceed the ambient noise attenuation that is required for screening audiometry, um, according to the ISO standard and also the South African uh, noise standards. And the ear test Oc Health attenuation levels are similar to a mini five centimeter panel sound booth and exceeds those of a typical transportable sound treated booth. So that means we can move our booth around in a little case because we're using these insert earphones covered by the high fidelity um, circumoral earmuffs from 3M. So if you set up your device, uh, there's a sign up as an administrator or as a tester. So there's different levels of privileges in this digital platform. We can then preload testing facilities um, as many as is needed, or you can create a facility directly from the app. So it can either happen beforehand in the cloud or it can happen directly from the application. And then we can do bulk uploads of patients um, on the device uh, from the cloud, or again, you can input individual patients directly on the tablet, whatever is going to be most convenient for rapid testing um, of large numbers of patients. We also can ensure um, secure management of patient information by distinguishing between the administrator and the tester accounts. And then of course, we can optimize the test times when we preload these patient and facility information so that when you come to a site, you can literally just look up the name, uh, select it, and do uh, the necessary testing. Uh, your test Ocalp also utilizes easy to use and adjustable test protocols. So there's default protocols specified um, based on test countries, including South Africa, Australia, New Zealand, the UK, and the US. Um, so that all the protocols are there for baseline testing for screening testing and for exit um, audiograms. And there's also the flexibility to customize your own protocols um, if that is necessary. So um, this allows you to also have a distinct and a flexible test um, equipment that can be utilized in a variety of different settings. So there's also um, a pre-test question function on, on, on the application that can capture basic information um, as necessary. There's also additional questions like finding out if someone has an additional urine problem like tinnitus so that we can capture some of the risks for these patients. Um, we can also confirm how long it's been since this person was last exposed to noise. And we can determine whether this person has a condition that may affect their hearing ability. Um, coming very soon as well, there's a customizable option where you can select and customize your own pre-test questions. In terms of the testing mode um, followed by this uh, Eurotest OCAL solution, it follows an automated testing um, paradigm where uh, there's a conditioning component and then individuals um, are allowed to utilize the tablet with a response button and they are literally listening to the tones according to the ISO shortened ascending method and they're pressing uh, the response button and everything else is automated. So it means a test operator doesn't need to uh, necessarily um, know how to conduct audiometry. They just need to know how to set up a patient, provide them the instructions and the conditioning and then they can do the test by themselves. We also include rigorous quality control metrics in this test setup so that if a patient, for example, is only pressing the button, um, um, it will flag the, that there's a number of false positives and exceeding a, a certain criteria. Um, it also importantly um, is the fact that we, we can um, track all kinds of metrics as they respond, like response times, and, um, and, and uh, compare that to our database of normative tests that now exceed more than 100,000. And if it falls within the outliers on the uh, fifth percentile, we can flag that as an unusual um, case that needs to be retested as well. So uh, we covered peer tone testing frequencies required for occupational health from 125 to 8,000 Hertz. 
um, we also comply to the rise and fall times for these signals, the total harmonic distortion, and importantly, we can also cover the entire intensity range required for Occult. If we include the digital to analog um, converter in the solution, we can reach minimum levels of minus 10 dB, and maximum levels of up to 90 and, and even higher. Um, without the DAC, the minimum levels um, is at 0 dB. The year test Occult testing is also significantly faster than traditional screening services and allows for accurate, easy and reliable automated testing and this automated test um, functionality has also been validated and, and maybe just to mention here as well it you can set whether you want a, um, a variable interval period to present the tones in this automated sequence so that it's not a rhythmic testing so all of those features can be set up in the advanced test protocol um, uh, setup page in terms of the test results uh, it obviously provides you with the audiogram, the baseline screening and exit audiogram, which you can view online for someone in the cloud, but you can also view it locally on the device. Um, there's also additional information included, like the peer tone average with its classification. It uh, provides you with a percentage loss of hearing automatically. And in the health and safety executive requirements in the UK, it also provides you with the hearing categorization um, component. And then there's the reliability uh, measure, measures for the monitoring of the environmental noise at each test frequency to see if uh, there was any risk of the maximum permissible ambient noise level being exceeded at the specific threshold um, at each frequency. And then it also calculates the shift um, by comparing the audiogram with the baseline. So it can include aging in the standard threshold shift calculations as well as an optional um, extra. Um, you can also append additional information to the test results. Uh, you can add a baseline data. If the, if the uh, uh, employee did not have a baseline um, in the system, you can add it, an existing baseline to this um, uh, digital platform so that we can calculate uh, any of the standard threshold shifts. It also has an on-screen capturing of the patient's signature, so patients can actually sign off um, to confirm also for traceability purposes. And then you can append otoscopy images directly to the test results and the report so that we have a comprehensive test report that includes additional test findings and then we have access to the test information by program managers um, and by management um, at, uh, at occupational settings through this ML cloud-based platform with the various levels of um, access that can be provided to individuals. And then, of course, any kinds of notes can also be added to the system. So the results sync seamlessly back to the ML studio as soon as it's connected to the internet. So it doesn't have to happen in real time. It can happen offline when you're at a site where it can connect to Wi-Fi. Um, and it allows for efficient data and referral management and also for traceability. Um, it's a safe and reliable storage platform uh, that adheres to the HIPAA requirements um, for clinical data. And it has graphical comparisons of the baseline and the screening test to make it really easy to see if there were significant shifts. And then you can easily view and print detailed occupational health reports. So there are some examples of what a screenshot would look like um, on the ML Studio platform. Um, it is a secure interoperable data monitoring platform um, that can give you the information in real time if the, if the tablet is connected to the internet. Um, but maybe it's also important to, to mention here that um, yeah, the, the data obviously can sync seamlessly back and forth um, but you can also pull data from the cloud onto the mobile device if you want to look at the test results that is being stored in the cloud. Um, and then you can review patient tests with their outcomes and it has the ability to set a referral status based on specific test results. So this function is useful as part of the screening programs for patients um, in this journey where you want to track their surveillance. You can also view detailed test information 
with the otoscopy images in the cloud and um, and you can pull up reports that can then easily be printed into pdfs or into hard copies so there's an example of a downloaded patient record that includes the detailed test information so we have the thresholds and um, there's a sign off there by uh, the employee and then the otoscopy images for this ear has also been appended to this report and that maybe brings us to the year scope, which is um, the video otoscope, a pen-like little video otoscope that can be a company uh, that can accompany the year test Ocalt solution. So it plugs into the same tablet and allows you to take a quick image and uh, or a video capturing of the ear canal and the eardrum. And the Euroscope includes an artificial image classification system that can then classify these images into a normal category or a wax obstruction or chronic perforation or any other abnormal categories. And I'll just show you a quick little video here of what that would look like if you're taking a, a picture with the Euroscope from the test um, screens of the Ocal solution and how you can then append those test results uh, to your patient record directly. And I think this is the beauty of digital solutions um, that it allows us to really integrate uh, different test results into the same platform. So there a picture is taken, it's now classifying it according to the AI um, classifier. It says it's normal with 100% confidence level um, a picture is now taken of the other ear, so there's the eardrum, we're taking an image there, it's classifying, and now it says it's a normal ear uh, drum with a 91% confidence level, and then it takes you to the image gallery where you can then select the images that you want to append to your um, employee's uh, record. So we've selected those two images, and now we're appending those test results to their um, test record. So some of the other year test Ocalf benefits of using a digital platform like this is the fact that it's portable, it's a robust solution, it's significantly faster than traditional screening services because it's also automated and it allows for accurate testing according to the standards at, at a fraction of the cost and that you don't require a booth if you're in environments that allow for sufficiently quiet testing when we use the um, 3M belt or uh, earmuffs over the insert earphones. It's also important uh, when we use these digital solutions, we have the advantage of using the um, sensors of these devices to perform quality control to ensure test reliability out in the field. And that allows us also for program managers remotely on the cloud to check the quality of testing findings and to ensure that um, programs are being conducted according to the required standards and regulations. So quality control metrics, for example, on the year test Ocalt solution includes the noise monitoring, which I've mentioned earlier. And, and here's just an example on the screenshot of, of what the noise monitoring would look like. But it also includes a false response count. So um, there's a false response, false positive count on the number of times this individual is pressing the button when there's no uh, signal being presented. And if it exceeds a certain percentage based on our large normative database, um, we they can then flag that this is an unreliable result, that the person needs to be re-instructed or they need to be retested. Um, we also track things like response times, and, and we have a very strict and well-documented um, guideline in terms of what are the expected response times from when you hear a signal and press the button. And if someone's response times are consistently out of those normative ranges, we can also flag those test results. And then, of course, we also automatically do a one kilohertz retest to ensure that there's not a significant shift between um, a retest at a thousand hertz during the same, same test session. Um, and then of course, because it's a digital platform, it's flexible and can easily uh, be used to adjust protocols and customize them for individualized or bespoke needs. Um, 
There's also the ability to enable age adjustments for occupational um, interpretations to look at whether a valid um, threshold shift occurred. And it allows for automatic analysis of test results for things like unilateral hearing loss referrals, um, according to the HSE categorization. And then your test OCALT complies to all the various international standards, including IEC, ANSI, ISO, um, NEL, OSHA, and, and, and the South African SANS standard. Uh, because this technology and because YearX um, is a spin out from a, a research university, everything that underlies this technology has been validated and published. So um, your test has a, a number of different publications uh, behind it, and I just list a few here in some of the foremost peer-reviewed journals, and the Eurek website has a, has a full um, range of these papers, and there's also a number of the Euroscope papers that I list there, and then there's the Oc Health um, white paper for the year test technology and its validation in terms of the attenuation provided by the insert earphones and the circumoral earmuffs um, that is used. So maybe for now, as we kind of move towards the end of this webinar, let me just show two brief testimonials of persons um, in different parts of the world that are using this year test OCAL solution to get a sense of what their um, feedback is in, in terms of its usability and, 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 and its um, value in their specific practices. So this is Megan Parson from the Clinical Governance Manager. Um, she's the Clinical Governance Manager of Body Care in Australia. Changes have been huge because we were able to work with Herex, uh, the development team and the sales team to create something that actually worked really well for us. Um, we were able to talk about the protocols and make sure that they adhered to the Australian New Zealand standards, booth quality um, testing, even when we were on site without the bulky equipment, without having to, to turn up with a trailer and a soundproof booth attached. And that was huge because it meant that we could really increase uh, the, the employers or the amount of employers that we could offer the service to. And we could definitely increase the volume of services that we could do. Uh, at any one time. It's so light and compact and easy to move. It actually meant that we could courier it around to anywhere within the network and have our um, audio testers have this equipment and, and go in on site and then send it off to somebody else. So, so here's the next um, little testimonial from uh, an audiologist in private practice. It's easy to use and um, it's not, doesn't take rocket science, but what I like about it is it's not all just on the phone. So when you get into the area where there, there's Wi-Fi connection, whoops, the whole beautiful screen shows up where it's downloaded onto the cloud and you can actually see the whole, um, the graph you can see everything everything is indicated there and it doesn't miss anything so if you as human ear miss something in your own um, input it reminds you great so i'm i'm going to um see if there are any additional questions that have gone unanswered and uh, then I think we have a minute or two to maybe consider some of those. So if there are no other questions, then I am going to just thank everyone. It was uh, good to have the opportunity to share with you some of the exciting digital developments in occupational health. And if you have any further questions, feel free to contact the Eurex team uh, for more information. Thank you for your time and attention. <laughs>